Naughty Gang, Naughty Gang, Naughty Gang. Welcome back to the channel. In today's Madden 22 video, we about to go over the newest Madden 22 glitch to help you make unlimited coins over and over and over. Now, you're gonna have to start with a little bit of coins to get this method up and popping, and some people's luck is gonna be a little better than others. But if you're new to the channel, drop a thumbs up on the video, hit that red subscribe button, and turn your notifications on. Let's get into some shout out. We got a shout out for Light Skin AJ, shout out for Eric Brands, shout out for Eric K, shout out to John Wright, and we also have another shout out for Ryan Russ. If you want a chance to be shouted out, make sure that you are active on the videos, subscribe to the channel with your notifications on, and go in the comment section and say Naughty Gang. Also, for the giveaway, make sure you are following me on Twitter so you can re- tweet the giveaway that I released yesterday. That is going to help me be able to pick the retweets and the subscribers from the channel so you can get your pin number. Let's get into today's banger. This is your one stop shop for all Madden needs. Whether you're looking for some fly merchandise, you're looking for ebooks, you're looking for a Patreon membership, or you just want to become part of the Tutty Squad. I appreciate all the love and support. Everything is in the link in the description. Let's get it. So there's a few different methods to get you coins. First, we're gonna go off of the hype method of the playoffs. And then number two, we're gonna get into how you can pull glitchy, glitchy packs and make profit over and over and over. Now, what I mean by number one, the hype method is selling off of hype, okay? Yesterday, the Bengals was playing. I was able to get a few of the chase wide receiver power-ups for about nine to 11 K. During the game, the hype of him getting a new car made his power up go to about 54 to 60,000 coins, okay? So all three of the cards that I bought, I was able to resell in the middle of the playoff game. So you need to be following the NFL, whether on Google or watching the game. It'll be just like the quarterbacks. The quarterbacks, they all rise up about 60 to 90%. Josh Allen, today we have Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the 49ers. Whoever you see performing, you want to buy them cards right now. Two or three of them cards, a small investment, get two or three of the top players off of the teams that are going to be playing today and once you look on the marketplace and they rise up to 18,000, 19,000 and you are spending four, maybe 6,000 for them, that's a quick 12 to 13,000 profit or if it's a big jump like yesterday, you could be buying them for 10, 11,000 and they go all the way up to 43, 44,000. You need to sell them during the game, once the hype is at its highest, because then the price will trickle all the way back down to about the normal price that you bought it. Now, tip number two is using the 88 plus reroll. The number one thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna snipe pieces for 94,000 or below. So you can see right now, they are up to 100,000. So you just wanna filter through these 97,000. They will always go down, they will always go up. So I'm gonna buy a couple of these for as low as possible. So you're gonna come over here to the auction house and you're gonna go to playoffs and you're gonna filter between playoffs. You're gonna try to find 94,000 and below. Those are gonna be the best prices that you're gonna wanna try to get. Afterwards, you're going to have to try to filter from position. So you would go left tackle, center, wide receiver. You will have to go left outside linebacker, all that different type of stuff until you can find the best value. Okay, so try to find 94,000 and down because you're going to have to try to go and make that up with getting at least two of them rolls. Then you're going to do the 500 coin pack to offset all your extra pieces. We bought this Corey Littleton for 90,000 coins. So that's the best price. So right now you can see they got them for 93. So if you're a little patient, sometimes later on in the day after the playoff games are going, you can get these for 86, 87 K. That's what I was doing last night. So it makes your overall way better. So you're just going to take these two snipes that you get for under 94,000. So you're going to be spending about a hundred and 80, 187,000 ish. So we got 44,000 training right now to use. So you're gonna come in here to the pack. 
Okay, you're gonna do the 88 plus. And you're only gonna do these one at a time. It's a slow method. So you're gonna do the 88 plus, okay? Don't matter what you get right here. I don't care about seeing it. You can watch the animation. Then we're gonna come over here twice to the 500 get a player pack. We're gonna open this two different times. You can watch the animation. I like to just back out. We're gonna do this two times. Then we're gonna go back to the pack. So if you pull a 94 on the first time around, then you wanna keep rolling. You wanna keep that momentum going. But if you don't pull a 94 until the third or the fourth roll, then you wanna back out every single time, okay? So I'm gonna pull one time out of the 88 plus, two times out of the get a player pack. So you're gonna need about 12,000 coins and you're gonna need to be able to get the training for as cheap as possible. About 45,000 training and higher is the best method, okay? The more training you have, the better pools you are gonna get later on down the road because these packs are on a code. It's like the packs are on a timer, okay? So later on, you might start off with two or three bad pools, but eventually, in a row, they're gonna give you very good pulls. EA knows exactly how many 88s are coming out, what percentage they are coming out at, and how often. So if you sit inside that pack and you roll over and over and over, so we're gonna do this one pack one more time, and then we're gonna go look at the binder. We're gonna see what the first couple pulls were. If you sit there and you roll all your training out, they have a percentage set. But if you go in there and you open up the pack, go into the get a player pack, those odds and that percentage will shift. And we're gonna look at what we pull. So you can see right here, a 94 overall, we got our two golds. A 94 overall, we got our two golds. A 88 overall, we got our two pools. So we started off with an 88 overall. We got both of the pools, get a player pack. Then we got an 88 overall. We got our two pools. Then we got a 94 overall, and then a 94 overall, and then we would have switched back into the two pools. Now, we still have 24,000 training left, okay? So, we already made our coins back. We can sell both of these right now, early in the video. Sometimes it will be a little later down the road. So, we'll go right here to this 94 overall, sell this back. This will help us already break even and then everything else that we roll is already our profit. Whatever we use to be able to start this process, we have right here, our 294s. So I'm gonna show you again. We pull the training, two get a gold player packs. This is a thousand coins. Pull the training, two get a player packs. Pull 3,000 coins. Pull, we're gonna have another two packs get a player that's going to be four thousand coins like i said through this process you're going to want at least twelve thousand coins in your training now once we sell them back everything that we quick sell and do all over is going to be all profit so you can go in right now and quick sell or you can go look in your binder at that exact time that i just showed you don't roll out all your training you should have some training left this is going to let you know what your odds is looking like is it going to be nothing but 88 in your binder then you can quit the method and sell off if it's gonna be some 90s here and there or some 92s, you know that you have better luck than other people because you can pull all 88s. That's terrible luck. What you wanna do right there is just shut your console down and then try again later without burning all your training and find a different window. So we did the training last. So we're gonna go to players and we're gonna do this get a player pack right here. We're gonna back out. We're gonna do this two times so we can keep the roll momentum going. We're gonna back out right here. Like I said, you can look at your animation you see right there we had a regular pool anyway so that was about an 88 overall probably they probably gave me my 294s and then the 88 okay but 294s in the first three packs is super super glitchy no matter who you are so we're going to go right here we're going to finish the video off i'm going to show you how you can quick sell all your stuff and then you can either sell everything off or you can just walk away with nothing but profit so we'll go right back right here to this pack right here we'll do this 88 plus you see what i'm saying every time it's a little slower number one is going to help you with your overall risk okay i don't want you guys to be saying i lost 300,000 coins doing it i lost 400,000 coins doing it because i'm telling you to start 
with about 180 to 190,000 coins to get your training, okay? And then I'm telling you to check to see what your odds is looking like. Sometimes you have to reset your console. Sometimes you have to wait for a better window later on in the game. But what I'm showing you is I've did this three different times and I haven't lost yet. I've always made 80,000 coins at the minimum and I did make last night on the last chance 130 or 135,000 coins using this same method okay I was down to my last 182,000 coins I had some training left over I went and sniped some pieces for 80 four or eighty five thousand a piece and I did this match so when you go to your binder and look at your newest you're gonna see with the get a player pack remember it's two pools and then the training pack so this is where we left off at so we have this 88 that we can sell or quick sell now that we ran out of training we have this 88 we have all these goals that have value you have this 88 this 88 this 80 overall that you spent 500 coins for if you look at his price you can sell him for about 45 to 5,000 coins so that right there is another four to five thousand coin profit you're going to use that for the Texas offset on your original price that you made now all these 90s this 90 this 88 this 88 all these 88s are profit. You got your 294s already. All this is profit. So all total in this video, that's 28 to 30,000. That's 30,000 profit right there. You're going to have the same thing again with the Joe Flacco. That's going to be 60,000 profit. Then you're going to have these cards that go between 9 and 11,000. So that's 70,000 profit. And I think we got like two or three of them. So that's about 90 to a hundred thousand profit if you was to sell everything individually after taxes super super fast okay you can sell this one one thousand or two thousand coins it's a la rams they got a game coming up so the hype is going to be there so remember it's two different ways you can buy power ups for low sell high you want to roll the training do the two get a player method they're 500 coins a piece some of y'all going to pull four or five elites out of the get a player method that's going to help you offset any type of taxes that you might have once you get your 294s you're going to sell them back and then everything else is going to be profit this is going to be 10,000 profit 20,000 profit 30,000 profit this is 30,000 coins so there's going to be 60,000 profit 90,000 profit and then you have all these little ones to offset your taxes from selling your 94s back test it out try it follow the entire video you might have to watch it two or three different times make sure that you following me on all socials that's instagram and twitter and get some profit <laughs>